Hello and welcome to North Star Stamper. I am Sue Kramer. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live in Minnesota. If you are watching, let me know that you are here and let me know where you're from. Um, and welcome if you're new. And to those of you watching the recording either later on Facebook or on YouTube, welcome. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. Let's give it a minute. Let's see if anybody's going to join me. I know I usually have friends and family that join. So we'll wait just another minute. I've got some exciting new sneak peeks to share with you. Um, I'll just get started. Somebody's here. Hello. Welcome. Um, so Saturday, I am attending On Stage at Home. It is our um, annual convention. If you remember a year ago, I was in Vienna, so this is kind of the opposite of that. We're at home this time. We're transitioning, and our next convention will actually be in March, so that's only a few months away. And that'll be in Houston, and yes, I'm going to that too. But so Saturday is a just a one-day online um, convention, and I'm going to be at my team leader, Kristen's house. So hello, Christine. Thank you for joining me today. And hello, Melissa. Thank you for joining me. Two of my team members. I should talk about this every every week when um, I'm live. Most of my team members join me, and it's awesome. Um, I love my team. I really do. And I'm sorry I don't tell you that often enough. It's so fun being a Stampin' Up! leader. Melissa, wouldn't you agree? And hello, there's Kathy, another team member. And I'm waiting for Anne, my fourth team member that's usually here. My fifth team member is Way, and she's busy. She has three kids at home. And so I, that's where I was when I became a demonstrator um, 12 and a half years ago. Can you believe it? Almost 13 in January. It'll be 13 years. Um, I had three kids at home. Tony traveled, and it was busy. I did one event a month, and I could only plan it like a week ahead of time. So let's get busy. I have a sneak peek for you. This is called the Be Mind Suite. And we're going to be using it at our online convention on Saturday. So they've given us um, how to cut up the paper and all that. Um, but this is a; these are products that are going to be in the January through April mini catalog. If you've ordered from me in the last, well, probably six months, I think I'll do. I will have them send you the new mini catalog and the celebration brochure, which will come out probably by the end of the month. You should get it by mid December. So. The Be My Valentine stamp set. I don't know if you can read those. Be mine. I love you no matter what. You're as sweet as honey. You'll always be, B-E-E, -E, the one for me. Happy Valentine's Day. So I think the heart is really cute. Uh, you make my heart buzz. Love you. And then some flowers. And this B, because the B coordinates with a punch. So cute. And I did make one this afternoon. Um, I had it going sideways, and I thought he was pretty cute. So you can see on the punch, there's two little hearts, and this heart punched out these wings perfectly. I can imagine um, stamping these on vellum and make vellum wings for the bee. Isn't he cute? And some uh, poppy parade. I should think about my colors. And then there's these boxes. I haven't put it together yet. Uh, pillow box. That's kind of fun. Let me just put things on the floor as I show them to you. There were 10 of those in the pack. And then the embellishments, which I haven't even opened yet. Oh, look at those bright red. I think that's, uh, I'm not going to go through the colors. You can see they're beautiful. Very fun. And the paper that coordinates with this. Oh, here, I can tell you the colors. Uh, basic Black, Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lime Twist, Petal Pink, Pool Party, and Sweet Sorbet. So that's those were the colors of those. Look at these. I've already cut some of this up. Let's show you the full pieces. The bee with the hearts. But I love the backside. It's just yellow plaid. You could use that all summer with those beautiful flowers we like to create. And some honey. And just some bees, bee lines, bee trails, I guess they're called. And some little bees and hearts. That'll be great for Valentine's Day. And a bee with a flower. Isn't he cute? 
and just red hearts. You could use that all summer long. I think that's the same one again. And just some flowers. No bees, no bees needed, but there's a little heart there. And then stripes. Again, think Chris, uh, birthday cards and bees with uh, greenery. And then um, honeycomb. Isn't that pretty? So this will be really fun. I have cut into it a little bit, but I have to prepare some things for Saturday. So I'm looking forward to that. So that is a sneak peek. Again, the Bee Mine Suite will be in the January through April mini catalog. And it has a punch. All right. It was a photopolymer, if you saw that. So today we are talking about the Mary, uh, Mary Bold and Bright Suite. It's on pages 8 and 9 in your mini catalog. Let me put it there. We are focusing on the bright and fun paper. Oh, I love this paper. Um, I will probably buy an extra pack. You can, and I'll show it to you. Um, so I'm offering a kit, and the kit will include a half a pack of the designer series paper, and then a ribbon and an embellishment. Um, I'm going to try to get these. The discs, they're not sequins, they're actually discs, are not available, and they will be available in the middle of the month. I'm asking you to request your kit by the 18th, and these are supposed to be available on the 13th. So hopefully I can get them in there. And then you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six colors listed here, but they didn't have room for these other three colors. So there's nine colors in this pattern paper. So your kit is going to include half a pack of the DSP, a pack of embellishments, a spool of ribbon, and nine pieces of of cardstock. I'm going to leave them eight and a half by 11 and your kit will be $35 and that includes your shipping. I weighed it today. Um, I took it to the post office and asked them and so I've included that in the cost of our kit. I don't have, oh I do have the right ribbon. No, that's not the right ribbon. I thought I had some, this is the organdy ribbon. I I have some of the ribbon that goes with this, but I don't know where it is. Sorry. And today we're just going to use rhinestones if we need an embellishment. Um, again, I will try to um, include the ones that coordinated with it, but our products are so awesome. It'll, it'll all work. I love this print. I think it needs to have a frog on it. And I know we had a little tiny little frog in a paper pumpkin not too long ago. So I have to find that stamp so I can make a card with a frog out of the green. Um, and then some old fashioned lights. I have a sample with this. I love the colors, some Christmas trees. Um, I ran out of this paper so there's to weigh my package. I just have an extra one of that. Look at those, aren't they cute? Um, this reminds me of Valentine's Day. I love the dots and the rainbow. And that says, fa la 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 I did sound it out. And we have stripes. I love the stripes even more than the dots. Um, uh, a star is born, or you're a star. We have performers in the family. And then more um, dots and Christmas trees, or their hats. I think they're Christmas trees. That's how I did it. And so here are the colors in the kit. Crushed Curry, Granny Apple Green, Flirty Flamingo, Lemon Lime Twist, um, Melon Mambo, Poppy Parade, um, Shaded Spruce, and I have two here. I do have two. Uh, blueberry bushel and pool party. They were almost enough about a quarter. So you'll get one of each of these and I'll show you um, how I was using it. Um, what else? I don't include white. I figure you already have white cardstock and I wanted to keep the shipping to a minimum. And unless you tell me otherwise, this is how I'm going to cut your pattern paper so I can use a smaller envelope. To get it to you instead of the big 15 by 15 envelopes that I use for my 12 by 12s. So that's the kit. Let me know that you want it by the 18th. Let's get busy. I'm going to make some cards. I'll show you what I've done already. Hello, hello. Um, I think, oh, mom and dad are here and Jean Schuler. Hi, Jean. Let's see. Ann made it. Hi, Ann. 
Uh, Melissa says they have the kids tonight, so she may not be able to stay, but I'm sure she'll come back to see what I made. That's always half the fun. And Kathy, hello. Thank you for all being here. So I started playing with the paper, and this was the first thing I thought of. Um, I don't know if I have it handy. I don't. I do. Um, this is the uh, Patchwork Pieces dies, and I thought it just really set off the stripes really well. And so then I, I, I cut it twice in the pattern in the stripes and the white, and so this is just kind of the reverse of it. So the two made that. I'm not sure this even needs a sentiment. What do you think? Does that card need any more? I kind of like it as is, but I have more. So then I just played with those same colors. I don't know why I stuck with those colors. I like them. Um, but this has nothing to do with the pattern paper other than I took the colors from it. This one I think looks like a hill in the sky. So I might actually stamp some birds in a little scene down here. I don't know. So I was just playing. Just showing you colors that are in the paper. And then I created some cards using what you could with the kit. So this is just a simple piece of the paper. I don't know how wide it is, but you can get a lot of cards like that. We're going to finish this one. Um, and there I just took a, it's five inches and I made it, I think it was three quarters of an inch. So with the paper you're getting in the kit, you can make a lot of these. I think, did I, did I count 72 cards? I don't know. A lot. And then I stamped the envelope. Isn't that so cute? I thought it was cute. And then I have some swap samples here that I'm going to recreate with you. So, as part of the kit, <coughs> I'm going to offer add-ons. This is the coordinating stamp set, um, Merry and Bright. I have a lot of them on blocks already, but they are nice, vivid, bright images to go with, that coordinate with the stamp set. I don't have the dies, but I will offer that as an add-on. So you can get just the stamp set. You could add on the stamp set and the dies, and I'm going to give you a discount on those. Um, I will include shipping and handling and tax, so it'll just be the cost. Um, and you'll have to read my blog tomorrow to see what that is. I'm also going to offer this stamp set as an add-on because it has both the Happy Birthday and the Merry Christmas, which coordinates with both sides of the paper. I thought it was fabulous. And I love these images because um, they're so bold. Um, so that's what I have. I also pulled out the More Wishes stamp set. I haven't even used it, so I haven't conditioned it. It is a photopolymer, but that would be another great one to go with um, this kit. Um, and then the, the bold, more bold Wishes? No. The other one that has the birthday um, would also coordinate nicely with it. So, let's... Let's, uh, let's see. Let me get that card back that I want to finish. And then I have one I want to make. Because when I was doing this envelope, I thought it would be really fun to just do a whole card base with that. Alright, I have things already cut. Oh, I might, I will probably include some die, white die cuts in your kit. I really like the radiating stitches dies right now, and these are the small and medium rectangles. I have a piece of granny apple green here that's already cut to um, mat that, and I was going to put that right there. So let's, let's do that. Photopolymer stamp set, so I need a cushion underneath my paper. And I have the colors that coordinate here. Oh, where'd that stamp set go again? What I've been doing, um, and in the catalog, you'll, they tell us which blocks cord they suggest to coordinate with your stamp set. And they recommend blocks B, H, and I. The most common block we use is a D block, which is also like a paper pumpkin block. So D, um, B, H, and I. This is the I. Look how big that stamp is. Um, the images on the front here aren't even full size. They are at 89, 80, I can't even read, even with my cheater glasses, 85%. So you can see how much bigger that is. So that's the I block. 
that's the B block. And this is the H block. So these are the blocks they recommend having for this stamp set. Just so you know, so you're not surprised if you get it and you see, oh my gosh, that's a big one. If you have the big um, background block, you could fit that on there too. So that would work very well. All right. Let's slow down a little, and I'm gonna I'm gonna remake this. I was just gonna make the card, and then I got some blue on there, and I don't even know where that came from. So let's start with some shaded spruce. I think this is so cute. I just I can't get over it. All right, ink, 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 and you'll see instead of going ink, ink, ink in the same, I go back and forth. Because I'm not sure where on my pad has the most ink. Because I have not inked that one up in a while. I did just re-ink my blueberry bushel. So that one should be nice and juicy. Alright. And next we're going to put the um, adapter, I guess I'd call it. Right there. Where's that so far? You know I love stamping, and I love the um, pieces, so you can you can create so many different things with this. So versatile when you get to decide. All right, we're going to put some old-fashioned round ball bulbs on here, or just one, I guess. Let's change out the color. Let's use blueberry bushel, since I said I just re-inked that. Let's see how I did. Ink, 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 ink. And you can look at it, being photopolymer, you can see how the ink is. Oh, it's really dark, but that works. All right. You're not going to be able to see it, but I will add, I think it's called a filament. In shaded spruce. Maybe when it dries, you might be able to see that better. And then, I'm going to put these away. Only thing is, I get ink right here when I use a big stamp like that, so I'm going to clean that off. So I don't get ink everywhere. Alright, let's use some Poppy Parade. And I'm going to work start at the bottom and work my way up. So the bottom is going to say Christmas if I can find it. Alright. So I'm going back and forth, trying to find some good ink. I haven't inked that one in a while. Oh, I'm going to have to go higher. My bulb is in the way. I'm holding it, letting the ink go into my paper. Look at that. I have to be careful not to touch that. The red ink takes a bit to dry. I cleaned it off right away so it's not staining near as much as it used to. Okay, Christmas. Then I have have a, like this, have a, I don't know if jolly, holly jolly, that's not going to fit. So I'm going to do Mary. I'm going to leave that out and we're going to do have a in red. Let's do that in our granny apple green, which is going to be our layer. So I wanted to say Mary. Let me find my Mary. Have a Merry Christmas. All right. So you, and there's also the word happy, if you prefer happy Christmas. But that happy would go nice with birthday, too. Ink, ink, ink. Sorry for my head. I think I'm all right. There's my Merry Christmas. I can just say Merry Christmas. But since I have it, we're going to use have a. So many options with this. Sorry, I might be out of the way there. Holding it for just a second. There we are. How'd I do? Oh, look at that. I find that these pads are really juicy um, when you first get them, and probably for a while. Um, and I get much better images if I hold my stamp on the paper and let the ink go into the paper. Otherwise, it, it gets kind of, it smudges or something. I don't know. All right, adhesive. Let 
But, um, yeah, let's do this. And center that. I'm going to turn, instead of rubbing it here in case that's not dry, I'm going to turn it over to burnish it. And then I'm going to grab some dimensionals. So it's not exactly like that. I kind of like that one, but like I said, it's got that ink through the middle of it. There we go. Does that need bling or something? <laughs> I have sequins. Let me know if you think. Hi, Marilyn. Thank you for joining us. Yes, I met you at um, the craft fair I did. And our Redeemer Lutheran Church was there a week and a half ago. Thank you for joining us. Um, okay. Uh, uh, Marilyn, I see your comment. I'll have to read it um, so I can understand it. And I'll get back to you. I'll, I will comment when we're done here. So do we think this needs some bling? I think it does. We're just going to use rhinestones. And if you have our alcohol markers, our blends, you could easily color these to match. Even if, <coughs> excuse me, even if you don't have Poppy Parade, I think real red would look pretty good with it. Let's just do one there. Odd numbers in a triangle. Three is not enough. We're going to do five. There. Happy Merry Christmas. And it coordinates lovely with our envelope. So fun. So fun. All right. I had a lot, so much fun making this. I want to do, um, create my own, kind of my own pattern paper with my stamps. All right. So we're going to take a white card base and a piece of white. I'm going to keep this handy because I'm going to model it after that. Okay. Shaded spruce. If you look in the catalog, they do use this a lot. And on the paper, they use shaded spruce for this. Kind of, if, um, if you think about Christmas lights, they usually do have green because it blends in with the tree. That makes sense. All right, we're going to stamp one bulb so I know that, <coughs> excuse me, where I can put, oh boy, where is, I have so many out here. All right, you know what, we're going to change it up a little bit. For the adapter, um, instead of using green, let's do granny apple green instead of shaded spruce. I don't know. Just because we can. There we go. And then we're going to make a poppy parade bulb. And I'm going to stand up and make sure I line that up just right. Hold it. Look at that. Oh, so cute. That would be cute just like that. But we're going to do more. Let's ink. Oh, sorry. That was out of camera. Ink, 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 back and forth. Right there. Now, we're just going to add some, I don't know what these are called. And I'm spreading them out a little bit. And we can do one here. Hopefully I've left enough room to put bulbs in there. Let's put these away. And I'm going to use the same colors. Again, I have ink down here, so I'm going to clean it. We'll leave that out. We might want that. Blueberry bushel. Again, I just re-inked this so it is quite dark. Oh, 
look at that. Isn't that cute? Let's put this one over here. Can't see too much of it. Uh, let's grab another color, crushed curry. <clears throat> Anybody made their Christmas cards yet? I didn't sell too many at the craft fair, so I have a few, but I did just sign up for another craft fair um, in early December. So they might want to buy some. Otherwise, I'm going to be using paper pumpkin kits. The kit in October was Christmas cards, and it was so cute, very traditional. Um, Christmas card um, outdoor scene with and they gave us um, oh, what's it called um, like puff not puff paint but um, a glitter glue that made it made it look like snow on the rooftops very cute all right I have one more right here let's do flirty flamingo And then, let's go back and add, isn't that cute? I have to say so myself. You could get an uh, assembly line going and um, make a whole bunch of these. Oh, they make cute tags to go on your gift packages. Alright, I'm going to add shaded spruce. I think, I'm pretty sure this is called. That one's down a little low. Ink, ink. There's that. I think we need some words. There aren't, let's look at the stamp set again. There aren't really small. Oh, I know. Well, there's a star. You could use that. This is on one of the papers. I think it's this one. I don't know if you can see. At the end of every bulb, they have these three lines, so it's like it's um, showing you that it's lit up. Let's use that. I haven't used that stamp yet. And I have a tiny little A block. And we'll do like they did and use crushed curry. Wipe my hands. I'm getting ink on it. And then... The stamp for the bulbs stamp is such a clear image. Um, yes, Kathy, I agree. When your ink pads are inked, I'll say appropriately, it is such a nice... We'll just do that. Like that. Cute. All right. Let's see what words. I think we're going to put... I know what I'm going to do. We're going to take the word Mary, and it's in a block. And we're just going to put Mary, Mary, Mary all over. Maybe just in Poppy Parade. Let's start with Poppy Parade and see what we think. Again, I have to stand up. I want to make sure this is straight. Ink all over my pad. Put one here. Hold it. Let's cover it up a little bit. Oh, I like it better. Put it there. I make my own pattern paper. Now that I'm covering it up, it's less of a less of a design. And I'll say more like pattern paper. Oh goodness. I have to say this is really cute. Look at that. Look at that. What else do we need? I'm going to need a different... Because this is going to go this way. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make a fun fold. I do have other papers, but that's right. So this was already folded in half. It's four and a quarter by 11. Scored at five and a half. 
I'm going to score it at two and three quarters, and I'm going to score, not cut, two and three quarters. I'm going to leave this out because I want a colored cardstock. Where is my... Um, I think we'll use Poppy Parade. If I can find it. Just because I did Mary in Poppy Parade. So we want it to be five and a quarter by four. I think that's the same size as my white. I may have to trim the white. Yes, it is. I have to trim this just a tad. So we'll do a sixteenth from the top. And a sixteenth from the bottom, and I just cut off my yellow. That's right. And a sixteenth there. And a sixteenth there. That's right. It's still cute. Now, if I did, hadn't made the Z-fold, I would probably punch something out of here and save cardstock. But I didn't do that. But I'm not doing that because it is going to be a Z-fold. So let's take our card and where I scored it and fold it back. So it's just folded in half and then one side is scored again in half. An adhesive on here. So I have been attending um, this card ministry, I'll call them meetings, um, at a local church. So somebody had asked me where to donate cards. Or, um, and Lori, if you're watching, I think it was you. So um, reach out to me if you're interested. Um, this local church sends out hundreds or they make hundreds of cards a year um seven times a year they give a hundred and about 150 cards to the senior living center next door um i think seven times christmas easter thanksgiving fourth of july i don't remember seven times a year and so we just finished thanksgiving cards for them last week um, and I think we already have Christmas cards ready for them. Look at this. I think we need to stamp on the inside. So I joined just so I could donate cards. But this organization has so, so many donated supplies. So what I do is I just go and I usually use their supplies. So it's so fun to use some really old Stampin' Up! product that I haven't used in 10 years. Or somebody else's product. Um, so I used a punch today that, oh, I'll post those cards. I made two masculine card, birthday cards for them. So that's what I'm doing with my cards, um, that I don't sell. I'm donating them to a church that they have a place where they sell them and the money goes to the women's club at the church. Look at this. I love it. It's so cute. Let's stamp on the inside though. Um... I do like this. It says Holly Jolly. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do that because I can. And I can use any color I want. I really like the blue. Let's use blue. Again, I'm going to stand up because I want to make sure I'm straight. Holly Jolly. You can see I had extra ink on there, but I knew it was going to stamp perfectly because I didn't rock it and I didn't push really hard. I was firm and steady and I held it for just a minute. It looks like I did have a smudge there, but that's okay. And we're going to do have a... Let's do Lemon Lime Twist. Whoever would have thought to use Blueberry Bushel and Lemon Lime Twist on a Christmas card? I love it though. I'm just, I think we've had too many gray days already. Have a holly jolly. And we have to get the red back in there. I think I'm not finishing my sentences. Sorry. I think I'm very excited about this kit. Um, very fun products to use. Can you tell I've enjoyed this? Have a holly jolly Christmas.
Look at that. <clears throat> what time is it? Oh, it's after 8 o'clock. I was going to make a birthday card to show you how versatile it is with the other side. Um, but watch my social media the rest of the week. I think I will be using it to give you some ideas. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Um, some ideas with this kit. Uh, let's see. So here are the things I've made so far. I'll show you. The, I'll leave this up here, even though that was my first idea. There's those. Not this one. This one. So thank you for joining me. Happy stamping. Oh, let's get that one down there. All right. Let me look through comments real quick. Thank you, Ann. It, it, the paper does all the work. The paper gave me my colors. It let the paper do the work for you, but then you can, um, Sarah is here. Hello, Sarah, my niece. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for letting every, reminding everybody that I'm live. So thank you all for joining me. Happy stamping. Um, my blog post is almost ready to go. I'm going to include these in the blog post. So it should be tonight, no later than tomorrow morning. So, um, I think that's all I have for you right now. Thanks for joining me. Happy stamping. Take care, everybody. Love you.